Restoring the Large Class II Restoration with Case Studies by Dr. Mark Gottlieb. This is a very simple conservative class II lesion. This tooth can easily be restored with amalgam or composite. This one's not so easy. Michael's chief complaint was bleeding gums. Once I restored tight contacts and proper contours, his bleeding stopped. Andrew presented to my office with sensitivity in the lower right molar. Tooth number 30 has a fracture in the amalgam. There's the x-ray. And as you can see from the occlusal view, there's a fracture going through the middle of the occlusal amalgam. Once I remove the old amalgam, you can see that there's an extension of the box. This is not a conservative lesion and a difficult class II restoration. I'll need to modify an ABC wedge to restore this tooth. ABC wedges are used from the buckle and the lingual. By using them in pairs, they work against each other, sealing off the gingival floor. The wings of the wedge supports the matrix band, preventing the separating ring from crushing the band into the box. You can fill this tooth incrementally with any posterior composite, trim it back, and the final restoration, as you can see, has a very broad contact and proper embrasure form. Do you see the light? Rest in peace, GV Black. We want to be as conservative as possible when restoring teeth. This lower right quadrant has decay in tooth number 29, 30, and 31. Tooth number 29 has a moderate class II lesion. It's got a wide open box. And I'll show you by demonstration how by using an ABC wedge on the left side and a separating ring on the right side, how the ABC wedge supports the matrix band while the separating ring causes it to take on the shape of the band itself or the ring itself crushing the matrix band into the box. The ABC wedge on one side supports the band. On the other side, you can see the plunger tip of the separating ring crushing in the matrix band dictating the shape of the tooth. The ABC, ABC wedge looks like an elephant's face. The white arrow is pointing to the trunk. The black arrow is pointing to the wing of the ear. They work in pairs. As they squeeze tighter and tighter against each other, the middle becomes thicker, sealing off the gingival floor, taking on the shape of the tooth. Once in a while, you may need to modify the wings or modify the nose. Taking a little bit off accommodates smaller or narrower teeth. They are truly anatomically correct. The problem in the past has been if you had a large open box or you had a missing cusp, placing a separating ring would crush the matrix band into the box or against the open area. Now by placing an ABC wedge, it supports the matrix band, localizes the ring, and keeps the ring from separating or crushing the band into the tooth. The tooth. The tooth is not square or rectangular. Tooth surfaces are not flat. A tooth needs to be restored in three dimensions. Now the ABC wedge is the solution for that problem.